Welcome back, Motivator. I am so glad you are here. I know how hard it is. It can be sometimes to carve out time for yourself. So we're going to have a great workout. Remember, we do this together. I'll be working out with you the entire time. If you are brand new to our channel, if this is your first time working out, I'm so glad you're here. Remember, take your time. Allow yourself the ability to learn. Get acquainted with your body, the movement patterns. No rush, no hurry. We're going to have fun and we're going to stay safe together. We have a full body workout today. We're going to use some weights. So grab a heavier set and a lighter set. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. Grab some bottles of water or some canned goods and also grab a mat. So also remember, remember, we have our giveaway this month. It's going to be great. We're giving away lemon, lavender, and peppermint oil. So how do you enter our giveaway? I'm so glad you asked. Make sure you like comment and share the videos and of course guys subscribe to our hey fit mom youtube channel we're so glad that you are part of this community without further ado let's pray heavenly father thank you for this time and opportunity to take care of our bodies we welcome your presence we ask that you keep me safe and those doing the workouts and watching the workouts safe as well and we just pray to have a really fun time and we just glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, starting with our flow, we're gonna have a dynamic warm up. You're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, drop your chin, followed by your head, your neck, your shoulders, round the upper back, mid back, low back. Let the head pull you forward. Let the weight of gravity or let gravity help you here. Shake out the arms, shake out the head, let blow flow to the brain a little bit. Look at your stomach, look at your belly button. Inhale, deep breath. Some good spinal articulation or let the vertebrae stack one at a time. I love this. It's a feel good. It gives our intention on our spine, our posture, and nice and tall. This time you're going to keep a flat back. Inhale through your nose. Flat back, hinge forward, hips go back, knees are soft. So a little bit of a straight leg deadlift here. And you're going to come right on up. We're going to take it a step further. Go ahead and hinge forward. We're going to walk your hands to the other edge of the mat. From here, we're going to wake up the arms a little bit. One push-up. If you need to drop one or both knees, that's fine. And come up. Good job. From here, bring that right leg in towards the center. In between your hands, drop the left knee. Come up into that proposal. Tuck your hips under. Squeeze the glutes. Tighten the abs. Left arm up. Right arm down. So we have here a half kneeling position, keeping our abs engaged keeping our glutes engaged, straight, stretching that front hip flexor of the quad here, of the left leg, the knee that's down. You're gonna bring that arm, both arms down. You're gonna take that leg back. We're gonna bring the left leg forward, drop the right this time, up tall, tuck. My right leg is back, my right arm is up. Fingertips pointed, inhale. Exhale, lean it forward, pull that navel in, gently squeeze the glutes. Feeling that stretch in that top hip flexor, top thigh. Come out of it. Now we're just going to move through it. Keep the belly button pulled in. Nice and smooth. Good job, guys. We're going to do one more. And relax. Drop the arms down here. Bring that leg back. You're in that high plank position. Bring the right leg forward. Pigeon pose this time. You're going to drop the left leg. You can come down onto your forearms stay up here but now we're feeling in the outer hip butt thigh just kind of wake that up we're not holding it real long it's okay to rock give a little TLC to that hip now you're slowly gonna take that leg back bring the opposite leg forward drop it take your time sink into it breathe deep breaths here and breathe out good job you can stay elevated or on your forearms, whatever feels good for your body. I'm just gently rocking, opening up that hip, waking it up. Good job. Now I'm slowly going to take that leg out. I'm back into that high plank position. I'm going to shift my hips up towards the ceiling. It's that downward dog. 
Relax that head, open up that mid back. I'm gonna pedal my feet, stretch out the calves here. Good job. Now I'm gonna walk my hands to my feet and both of my heels are down. Try to keep your legs straight if you can and relax the head, look at your belly button, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. So from here, left leg forward, right leg stays back, split stance. We're just gonna wake up our torso a little bit, hands behind your head. We're gonna turn to the left, take your time, turn to the right. Waking up the rotator muscles in our trunk, our obliques. One more, gentle with it. We're just in a split stance, challenging our balance as well. Switch it up, opposite stance, hands behind your head. Take a deep breath, exhale to the right. My elbows are away from my ears, engaging that upper mid back. You should feel the smaller muscles in that foot and ankle and leg engaging. We have one more abs engaged. Waking up those smaller, deeper muscles and come back. Okay guys, the first exercise we're gonna do today, squat curl press. So feet are parallel, shoulders down and back. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. Hips and glutes go back as I come up. I'm curling hammer curl going up into a neutral shoulder press, okay? So we are combining some movements today. Take your time, there's no rush. I'm gonna get my timer going, and we're gonna start in three, two, grab your weights, and we're going to begin. Squat, curl, press. Take your time. Modification, maybe you're new to this. You can sit on your chair, you can sit on your sofa, get your feet positioned, and get used to getting the hips and glutes going down and back, shifting your weight back. So for this exercise, you should feel more of the weight on your heel of the foot. My chest is staying elevated as I go down. I'm not bowing, right? My torso is at an angle, my back is flat, but the angle of my trunk and torso should be fairly parallel to that tibia bone of your low leg. Good job. After this, we have a sumo squat into an upright row. Nice and smooth and controlled. You find the tempo that works for you. Last one here. And relax. I'm gonna turn and face you. A wider stance, toes are out, knees are in line with the ankle. Sumo squat is here. Chest is up as I come up. Upright row, okay, sumo squat, upright row. So again, I'm in a wider stance with my legs, toes are turned out, knees are in line with my ankle and toe. So I'm pushing my knees out, and then as I come up, driving the elbows up and out. Good, sumo squat, upright row. Take your time. If you've gotten heavier, don't worry about the speed, right? Maybe you're starting heavier and you need to go lighter. That's totally fine. Or maybe you're like, hey, I'm brand new. I'm keeping it light. Perfect. Make this workout work for you. You want to keep moving, challenging yourself, but staying safe. After this, we're going to keep one dumbbell on the floor. Our heels are going to be on the dumbbell. We have a heel raise squat with the shoulder front raise. So I'm gonna put that on the floor. I'm gonna grab my lighter weights. I'm elevating my heels. Now from here, whoop, get your squat first. Take your time. Get your balance. So why are our heels elevated? This puts all the focus on the quad, not so much on the butt. Okay, now if that's okay, as you come down, you're gonna lift your arms up. My palms are facing each other. I'm focused. Quads, lift the arms up. Now see if you can put it together. Oh yeah. So as I'm going down, lifting the arms up, baby. Come on, lower and lift. If this is too much, just do the legs. Or maybe do a few legs and finish with a few arms. We got about 10-ish seconds left. 
After this, we have side lunge. Side lunge. And relax. I'm gonna set that down. No weight. Well, if you wanna grab the weight, you can. Side lunge, stepping to the right. Hips and glutes go back. Push off. Get acquainted with that movement first. So my knee is not passing my toe right now, okay? Now, if that's okay, watch me hold it here. Lift, woo, lift. If that's too much, keep doing the side lunge, same side. We're gonna be here for about 30 seconds. Come on, stay low. Lift that leg up, stay low. Come on, load it, you got it. Shake it out, opposite side. Now I'm going to the left, push off. Again, get your flow, get your form. Hips and glutes are going back, sitting into it. Keep going there or, ready, if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, load it, stick it, lift the opposite leg up. Come on, so it's a side lunge, hold, opposite leg, lift, stay low. We got our dead lifts coming up. Woo, dead lift, okay, I'm gonna grab my weight. Feet are parallel, shoulders down and back. I'm coming down, my hips are going back, my knees are slightly bent, back is flat, I'm not rounding. And then come on up, hips. Hips are going back, knees are bent, back flat. A Little bit of a stretch in the back of the legs and come up, keep going. Don't rush these, think about your hips, think about your movement. <sighs> hips go back, back stays flat, shoulders are down and back, now the hips are gonna push forward, everything else follows. You're not clenching at your butt, good job. Nice and smooth and controlled. We got about 30 seconds left. Again, it's not about speed, good form. Some of you may be having heavier weights or lighter weights. You do the workout that works best for your body. Good job. After this, we're gonna get on the floor. We have one push up, and we're gonna get our hips and our glutes. One push up, one plank, and some leg extensions. Good job. Okay, we're gonna set that down, no weights. Getting our upper body a little bit more, getting our deep core muscles as well. Push-up position, one push-up, one plank jack, extend, extend. Modification, you can drop one knee, step out, step out, come up, come up. Find the position that works for you, or you can tap, tap, up, keep going, come on. You do what works for you. Just showing you some variations. Good, come on. You got about 30 seconds, so you can step, step, up, up, or you can pop out, woo, together. After this, we have a crunch variation. Coming down and up. Extend. My back is flat, spine straight. Ha, ha, up, up, and relax. I lied, let's get our glutes a little bit more. We're gonna put the weight behind the knee. Donkey kicks first. Here we go, I'm doing the right leg up and lower. My hands, my wrists under my shoulder blades. My opposite knee is under my hip, nice and smooth. We're gonna be here for about 30 seconds, give or take. You guys are doing great. Almost there. Ooh, my back is flat. Shoulders are squared, hips are squared. I'm not turning out. One more. Switch, switch legs. Again, you don't have to use the weight. If you're not using weight, that is totally fine. You're still engaging the glutes. Curling at the knee. It takes the hamstring out of this a little bit, breathe out. As I'm breathing out, drawing in that navel, we're not arching our back. Good job. And then our last exercise for this round, we have a crunch variation to get more of our superficial abdominals. So our last exercise for this round, round one. So feet flat, knees bent. 
We're going to crunch right here. You can place your hands behind your head. You can cross them at your chest. Or you can use your hands to push through. I like this pushing through. I feel like I squeeze my deeper muscles a little bit more or engage, not really squeeze, engage the deeper muscles. Okay, second position, 90 degrees. Up, up. Again, you can cross. Pretend like you're holding an egg between your chin and your clavicle notch. Don't crush it and don't let it roll away, right? Okay, third position. Legs up, reach for those toes. Try to keep the legs straight if you can. Good job. Okay, next position, legs flat. Here we go, single leg, alternating, V up. Keep going and relax. Okay, that concludes our round one. If this is where you're stopping, that's totally fine. Make sure you like, comment, share this video and subscribe. Stay motivated, drink some water and go ahead and skip ahead to the cool down, okay? If you're hanging out with me, get some water. We got round two coming up. So now you've been introduced to the exercises and you're gonna crush it even more. We're gonna start with the squat curl press. In tres, dos, uno, vamanos, grab your weight, squat, curl, press. Feet are parallel, hammer curl, neutral shoulder press. Right back down. You're like, I got this. Maybe you're moving a little bit more fluid now, more smooth. Maybe you're moving a little bit more faster or more fast. Here we go. Or you're like, hey, I went too light. I'm gonna go heavier. So maybe your speed hasn't changed, but the resistance has. Good job. We wanna build muscle here, which is why we're using weights. Muscle helps our energy, helps our posture, our confidence, the ability to burn calories, even when we're not exercising. Keeps that metabolism on fire. We got sumo squat, upright row coming up. Keep going and relax. Okay, changing position, wider stance, toes pointed out, knees in line with the ankle and toe, shoulders down and back. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Driving the elbows up and out. Come on. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Nice job. Try not to pitch too far forward with your trunk, with your torso. Woo -wee. I'm so glad we are doing this together. This is round two of our full body strength workout, upper body, lower body, working different parts of our core, not wasting any time. Come on, elbows up and out. Squeeze that upper mid back as you pull it up. Keep those elbows high, ha, come on. Nice job. The next one we're gonna do, heels are gonna be elevated on the weight. I'm gonna get that set up. I'm gonna drop this weight down. Catch my breath, because I did go a little bit faster on that one. Grab my lighter weights. First, get the position of the heel. Shoulders down and back. First, the squat. Take your time. Now, if that's okay, add the arm. Now all together, come on. Woo -wee. Nice job. Heel raise to engage more of the quads. I'm only bringing it up to about 90 degrees. Don't rush it. It's combined movement. A lot of our exercises today, we're combining movement patterns, which makes it a little bit more challenging but you can break it up and maybe do one exercise and then the other. Up to you. And relax. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. Next one we have, side lunge. 
I'm going to start to the left this time. So with the side lunge, my hips, I'm going to turn this way. My hips and glutes are going back, sitting into that hip. Here we go. Side lunge. First get the side lunge. Toes are pointed forward, loading that outer hip butt thigh, that glute medius. Hold it there if that's okay. Leg up. Chest stays up. Load, baby, load. If you can, if not, keep doing the side lunge, stepping into it. Switch sides, here we go. Right leg now, push off. Load, hips go back, chest stays up. Shoulders, hips, knee, toe, everything in line. You guys doing okay? Come on, hold it here if you wanna challenge yourself. Lift, keep everything squared. Stay low, your torso is gonna wanna pop up. Don't let it. Load right here. Few more, we got deadlifts coming up. And relax, all right. Grab your weight, feet parallel, shoulders down and back. Hips and glutes are going back. Bending at the knee, back is flat, and hip movement coming up. Think about what your hips are doing. They're going back, glutes are back, knees are bent, back is flat. Now my hips are moving forward. Everything else follows, come on. Do not round your back. Exhale. Don't round your back. Don't hold your breath. So as you're coming down, you should feel more of the weight, most of the weight on your heels, and then come up. Keep those shoulders down and back. Right now I'm pretending like, not pretending, but the dumbbell is sliding in front of that shin, that front lower leg bone, that tibia, as I come down. After this, we're gonna be on the floor. We have that push-up plank, leg extension coming up. Get those hammies, low back, glutes. I'm gonna set the weights down. Make sure the weights stay out of your way so you don't trip on them. Safety first. Push-up position. One push-up. Step it out, step it out, bring it up, bring it up. Okay, that's one variation. Second variation, out together, up, up. If at any time you need to readjust your form or posture, do so. Don't compromise the quality of movement. I'm gonna drop one knee, step out, step out, up, up. Okay, I'll drop both knees, push up, out, out, up, up. Don't rush it. Here we go. Out, up, up. Come on. Up, up. Push up. Come on. Out, out, up. Woo! All right. Grab your weight. Donkey kicks. Starting with the right leg, hands and knees, shoulder width apart. Don't arch, don't round. Flat back, neutral spine, up and lower. Let's add in the cadence this round. Here we go. One, two, three, lower down. Up, two, three, lower down. Working the posterior chain of your body here, your glutes. Keeping the back stable and straight. One more. Ooh, yeah, I'm sweating. Switch. Switch it up, switch it up. Here we go. Up. First, get the movement. When you're ready, add the cadence. Here we go. Up, two, three. The lower down. Can you believe it? We're almost done with round two. It goes by fast. Making everything count. Not worrying about the speed. And the beauty of these workouts, you can be done in 15 minutes-ish or about 30 minutes. Okay, from here, I'm gonna set that down. We have a crunch variation coming up. Feet are flat, knees bent. Here we go, up, up. So I'm punching as I crunch. I'm thinking about lifting that sternum up. Good job. 
You got it. From here, second position, 90 degrees. Low back stays flat. Pretend like you're holding that egg. If you don't like the punch, you can cross or you can challenge yourself a little bit more. Place your hands behind your head. Up to you. Third position, reach for the toes. Come on. Lengthen those legs. Last one, lengthen the entire body. Alternating, single leg, V up. You got it. Keep going. One more, one more. And relax. Guys, great job. Don't skip the cool down. Lay on your back. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Right leg is coming in with the left arm. Right arm out to the side. Iron cross right here. Hold it for just a few moments. Let that heart rate come down. Switch it up. Pull the left knee in with the right hand. Cross it over. Release that low back, outer hip, butt, thigh. Good job. You guys did great. Make sure to like the video, comment, share, grab both knees in towards the chest, grab behind the hamstrings, rock it up, roll it up. We're gonna stand up, take your time. Inhale, deep breath with the right arm. Exhale, side bend. Bring that arm down again. Lengthen, open up the ribs. Release that lat, relax the neck, bring it down. Left arm, exhale, good job. Again, up, exhale, Woo. feels good to breathe and stretch. The hard part is over, both arms. Exhale, one more, and give yourself a bow. Great job, you did it. Stay motivated, stay blessed, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Ciao for now.